Right, this is Backman 32286, an analog DMU, class 101, running at 25 on the Gauge Master controller, which is an O gauge controller, and you can see the lights at 25. We'll let it come round again. Let me keep it at 25. Which is really, really slow. And hopefully you can see the lights. Now can you run it now, accelerate it to 30? So we're going to run 25, 30. That's 30, and can you run it at 35? Here he's going past at 35, and can you run it at 40? So that's 25, 35 and that's 40. Thank you very much. Here's Backman 32287 on 25. And you want to put it on 30. Speed it up and put it to 30 past the camera. Speed set. 30. Here's 32287 at 30 on the controller. And you want to do it at 35. There it is at 35, and can you put it at 40? It's making a strange clicking noise, don't know why. Here we are at 40. Thank you. This is Batman 31379. And where are the lights at 20? Where are they? And it's supposed to be realistic. Batman are supposed to be making their model railways more realistic. So at this speed, where are the lights? Headboards work. Where are the lights? Okay, go to 25. And you can see I'm running it in the same conditions. Place it up a bit, you get dim lights. Okay, go to 25. Okay, put it to 30. So we put it to 30, which is probably it, as fast as these would go, and you get lights, put it to 40. That's 35. Put it to 35, the lights are alright. Put it to 45. So you put it to 45, you get loads of lights. Put it to 50. So you thrash it round and the lights are pretty good. Now drop it down to 25, please. Drop it down to 25.
which I would suggest is probably a normal running speed on a layout for these. Where are they? Each to their own, people buy what's right for them, but I hope I've managed to show you the difference with the other uh, Batman DMUs. And as you can see with the others, the lights, the variation is minimal here. On this model, it's like a dimmer switch in a house. It's like a kid's toy, in my view. Thank you for watching.